today we'll discuss about point to point protocol it is a byte oriented protocol and this protocol is used in data link layer there's a bit oriented protocol which was known was as hdlc high level data link control and this is the byte oriented protocol point to point protocol means two computers or devices are connected with each other directly so first we'll see what are the transition phases in point to point protocol this phases occurs between two parties or two computers first is the date phase date phase means when these two computers are not connected with each other so one of them will try to establish the connection first when want to send the data this is the establishment phase so to send the request first it has to detect the carrier through which it will send the data if carrier detection is failed it again comes back to the date phase otherwise it goes to the established phase in case of point to point protocol the some agreements uh, will be done before data sending between the two parties uh, this agreements happens just before sending the data they agreed upon on some rules or some options and then they will follow these options on which they have agreed upon at the time of data sending so after this establishment phase if they think that they need the authentication phase then this is an optional phase authentication phase then from here we directly come to the authentication phase if authentication fails the connection is terminated and again we go to the date phase but if these parties don't uh, need any authentication phase then directly from the establishment phase we come to the network phase if authentication is needed and authentication is successful so after this authentication phase again we come to the network phase in this network phase because ppp is a data link layer protocol in this network phase we do some network layer or upper layer configurations here this is say here network layer configuration and after that we come to the open phase in this open phase data exchange begins after that when the data exchange is done successfully we go to the terminate phase so this time data sending is stopped and after that we again go back to the date phase that means the carrier is dropped and now we come to the date phase so the, this is the transition phase then we come to the frame structure of point to point protocol in case of point to point protocol it is a byte oriented protocol so there will be a particular character which will be used for the flag pattern this flag actually segregates a frame from its previous frame and next frame the flag pattern consists of one byte then there is address field in case of point to point protocol it is a broadcast address so all the bits are one then there is a control field this is the structure of the control field 
then protocol field data field will come to the details of protocol and data field and then fcs means frame check sequence which is uh, basically used for error detection and uh, crc is used for this now we come to the protocol portion three types of protocols may be used one is lcp link control protocol other is authentication protocol and the third one is network control protocol for this each protocol some hexadecimal codes will be used in this protocol field actually instead of writing this actual value of the protocol it will contain this hexadecimal codes this is the hexadecimal code for lcp there are two types of authentication protocol so two hexadecimal codes are used here which of them will be used the corresponding hexadecimal code will be used and this way if it contains data then instead of is for protocol if it contains data then this value will be within there now we can see this is a lcp packet that means link control protocol packet which is encapsulated in the payload portion so if it is a lcp packet you can see this is the hexadecimal code c o c zero two one so c zero two one will be in this position and in the place of payload field this structure will be loaded in case of lcp packet there will be a code there will be id then the length these are the examples of code and types of packets which can be sent in lcp so there's nothing to discuss about more about this then there is a authentication protocol in case of pro authentication protocol there are two types of protocols one is password password authentication protocol or pap in case of password authentication protocol the user in the process is very known to us that the user sends its authentication information that means username and password to the system which will authenticate this user and in reply of that system accept sends accept message or reject message to the user but the main problem of this protocol is that the password is been exposed in the network in the public network so our main goal is we will not expose or we will don't send this actual password through the public network for what for that challenge and handshake authentication protocol is used so first a challenge value will be generated by the system when user wants to authenticate or in user wants to log in now user generates a response packet with this challenge packet what is this response challenge value is an integer value user will combine this integer value with its password with his or her password through a particular logic or through a particular algorithm and then whenever user is asked for giving the password the user system will take that password and combine this password with the challenge value and will generate a response value and it will be sent to the system system already knows the password of the user so using the same algorithm or logic use system will generate a number 
if user is a genuine user then this response number a value should match with the system generated value and then system sends the accept or reject notification accordingly so in the main advantage in this case that the user password is not exposed in the public network so in the ppp frame we can encapsulate our very known ip packet or ip datagram we can see if user wants to send data through ppp we know when we use data it will contain this field will contain this value 0021 and you can see here 0021 is here that means it will contain the user data in the payload field and in actually in this payload field we are encapsulating the ip packet which is divided into header and user data so this is a short description about ppp frame which will serve our purpose thank you